Hello, everybody. Howdy. Oh, Welcome. that was really bad. I was trying to be Sandy Cheeks and we derailed immediately. Howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Get Thursday. It's hard to keep up with what day we're filming for. I don't for, know what day it is. Because right now for us, it's actually Sunday. Yes. And we actually haven't even filmed the Tuesday video, the Bolos, or the Valentine's Wednesday video. So no. we are all kinds of like in a time warp right now. Today for you guys, it is Thursday, which means it is Bins Hall Day. <laughs> and for once, we actually are doing a Bins Hall together. I feel like it's been <sighs> how many weeks now? I was last week. You were the week before. I was the week before that. And I might have even been the week before that. It's been like, it's I, almost I, I can a safely month, say a month. Which is pretty crazy. Crazy. separate bins halls. Ryan has been to the bins like a few times in the past month. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere you went and not hauled it. I don't think so. I've tried to go like at least once a week. Which has not spend. always panned out, but he tries to. No, I do my best. Yeah, and then I definitely go at least once a week. Mm -hmm. I try to stick to, he's like trying to up it to once a week. I'm trying to like downsize mm -hmm. to once a week to get mine under control and he needs to get more. I need more stuff. But this is stuff that you guys saw in the thrift with us that went up last Tuesday. Went up over last a week Tuesday. ago. Mm -hmm. So you may have seen some of this before, um, but you definitely have not seen all. Little did I know, Ryan got like tons of stuff. I ended up getting two Ikea bags. It's like, stuff. It's and like, it's like good stuff. It's it, crazy. It's like we had a totally different bins trip because I have one TJ Maxx bag. It's good. Like all of it. TJ Maxx bags in a bag of shoes. All of it is really, really good. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't get that much. But Ryan got a ton of stuff. I think I was just like hitting it right. Universe was on my side today. She said in July. Also seeing this okay. Thursday, that means that yesterday for you guys, we went to the bins <sighs> with Debbie and my brother Evan. <sighs> and... I have already seen on What's Old Saturday's comments that you guys seem very, very amped and very pumped to see a Debbie Bins trip. I also I still wait. saw comments of people saying, who's Debbie? Debbie is my mother. Yes. <laughs> I think I saw someone respond to that person, but yes, Debbie's my mom. So we are going to have, I think on November 1st, which is a Tuesday, we're going to have mm -hmm. a Bins thrift with Evan, Debbie, and us. It's going to be so That'll much be fun. Really fun. It's going to be like a little family event. It's Obviously, we'll still be the ones like vlogging and we'll show probably what Debbie's doing or give her <laughs> cart updates or have her do that, but still she'll be in it and she'll be showing. What do you she know what this is going to be? This is going to be like National Lampoon goes to the bins. <laughs> seriously is. Also, all of us <laughs> trying to cram all our, we might have to drive two We're going to have to take two cars. Yeah. We are all four of us now. I <laughs> don't know about that. One. Car. Before we jump into it, We'll just do a fun shirt intro, just because I want to show off my Vestair Collective purchase. So I there was this. there was someone on Vestair Collective. I'm always like stalking Moschino. Shocker, I know. And there was someone on Vestair Collective who listed a pair of the mummy printed swim trunks, like men's. And I was like, give them to me. Need him, mm -hmm. need him, need him. So I sent him an offer and we're like going back and forth. And then as we're doing that, he lists a pair of joggers that are mummy printed. And I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I, I, I need he both of them. Into that grandma. And so then I'm like messaging him about the pants too. And then he lists this as well. And I was like, how much do you have of this stuff? And how do I buy all of it from you? So I was able to get all three pieces. You cannot bundle on Vestair. And you also can't even list a listing with multiple items. So I went completely off of trusting this fine Italian man. This lovely Italian man. And luckily he was trustworthy. And I purchased one item and he sent all three for a very good price. So this is my Moschino mummy sweatshirt. I love this. And I love it. I'm in my Christopher... Is this Christopher John Rogers? Yes. Yeah. High fashion drama, the Met Gala, the Met Gala experience. Um, our friend Gabby that we talked about in one of the last videos, What's was Saturday? like, these shirts are $20 on clearance. Please go buy them. They're like 120 new. And I said, cha-ching. I'm so sad. He had one that was like embellished. Like they were rhinestones. And I thought this one was the rhinestone one, but it was not. And then goes very well with a gummy bear. I have a Betsy Johnson gummy bear necklace. I bought it at <laughs> TJ Maxx. And I feel like the vibe matches. Okay, so we we said that we have, well, <laughs> we have a lot to show you as in mainly Ryan. So I suppose we should jump into it. I'm going to show my three things. And then we're going to do our usual like five, 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 where we each show five items. And then I'm just going to drop off when I run out of items. And I'm going to grab my iced coffee and I'm just going to watch along with you we guys. We got snacks in here. In yeah, <laughs> I'm ready to one. just watch yeah. Ryan's all basically. Of my three things, I'll show the first thing that I'm not selling. I found this really fun vintage Halloween book. I love to look in the book section 
section at the bins like at least mm -hmm. once per trip for really good coffee table books whether it be like fashion or like big there was like a big floral art oh, panel one like that plant, I bought once like a botanist book that goes mm -hmm. for like 200 bucks but it's mine um, and I found this really fun vintage Halloween book from 1991 and for some reason this ghost back in 1991 had a Sia shirt on we just realized Sia has been swinging from the <laughs> chandelier she has day one but all of the images like the color in this is beautiful and they're all kind of like funny like there's an evil fire hydrant and stuff I'd love love so I gotta look through this later and just sip more coffee yes and do that then we got a very girly item so the girlies are gonna die over this I have none of this listed as of the time we're filming but I definitely do by the time you guys see this same with Ryan he will have it all listed as well I I'm would gonna, assume... I'm gonna hold myself to it yes yes I will this is a little brown coach bag and of course like brown and cream have been very very trendy for years now I feel like that's kind of all there is to this it's just like a vintage little there leather so much money though yeah it's very very cute and last for my like thangs is this other coach bag so this is obviously not a vintage one this is a super super nice like modern one mm. it does live up to the Debbie standard it has three compartments and it's a black shoulder bag Perfect. which is like right up her alley <laughs> But I am gonna sell this myself. She just got that new coach bag. Yeah, she, no, Tori Burch. Yeah, do you remember oh, when yeah. she kept calling it a coach bag? Yeah, as she would say, coach. This is not from the outlet, so that's fantastic. And honestly, all it needs is some like leather conditioning, yeah. or else it's in fantastic shape. I'm pretty sure someone had thrown this bag. It's so and cute. why? Nobody at our bins gets I don't know. This, and it's like kind of annoying. I know, I'm like, I know they weigh like a little, but so. They really don't though. I know. They really don't. And also bags can go for so much more than clothes sometimes. So I do not have any things. Oh, I did have a thing, but I put it in my classroom already. I found an Apple clock and it was this really cute vintage like 1980s little like Apple clock and it, you know. That's my classroom already. <laughs> but I did find um, a few very good pairs of shoes. I found two of the exact same pair of boots. These are the Sam Edelman Penny boot. These were sold at Anthropology. Um, I love selling these. They always go for like 40 to 50 because I think there's always going to be some moms that like some of the riding boots. And both of these are a, both of them are six and a half. So they're kind of tiny. Then I found this really cute pair of dance goes. I love this. And I think I'm going to put these on Depop because they have this kind of like little granola girl moment. They are a six. I think those are cute. I these I got to go specifically on Depop. These are super fun. Whoa. They're vintage Carlos by Carlos Santana, which is like, I don't know where he's at now, but like I know he's amazing. like, yeah, not good. But it's these really funky, like, 90s geometric, like, wooden shoes with this peace sign thing on the front. Some of this, like, faux leather detailing is kind of, like, peeling away. But as long as you note that, the people on Depop do not care. And then it's, like, guitar strings on the inside. This yeah. Is, this, this is, like, super cool. This is the thing that Robert Clergy does a lot, which is a very expensive shoe brand that's, like, kind of, like, wedged, but it has a chunk taken out of it. But I love that peace sign. These are an eight. That's really But, like, really how cute. fun are these? But I did find a little pair of Corky's. I love to sell these, and I haven't found a good pair in a while, but they're these, like, really cute little... They're very, like, if you're familiar with the band St. Vincent. I was gonna say. The lead singer wears these all the time, and for some reason her name is escaping me. I would put cottagecore on these. Oh, these I'm gonna go, put academia. These would I'm go good with, cottage. like, a, I'm gonna do all the things. A Christy Dawn dress. These are a size... Da -da -da -da. Nine and a half. But they just have a couple little, like, marks in them, but those will buff right out. This was the shoe find of the day. I found this really nice new pair of fry boots. These, the woman at the bins said they were about a size six and a half, seven, and I believe her because I cannot find a size on these at all. They're super nice. They really haven't been worn that much, and I'm quite excited to have those going into boot season. I do have mine sorted, as always. <laughs> I always love to read all the comments on the bins thrift with us where people are like, I cannot believe that Jack sorts his card as he goes. And yes, I do. It's literally like a natural instinct. It makes There are nervous. multiple times that I've picked up something in the bins, folded it, decided I didn't want it, and then like threw it back. Like I literally just fold it like naturally. I don't know why that, that makes happens. makes me so nervous. Which is so funny because I used to, as like a high schooler, I was like, I don't know how to fold clothes. I'm not going to fold my clothes. And now I'm like... I worked in um, clothing yeah, retail. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> so the folding clothes, it's like a little trauma memory every single time I do it. So I have my bottoms and pants first. So this is a dark academia vintage skirt. These have been like my favorite this fall to sell. I think this is a wool blend because it feels like there might be some kind of like other yeah. material in there. It's wool though. But still, yeah, there's definitely some wool and it has that like talon super vintage zipper on it. So it's very old. There's no brand or size. So I'll have to measure that. I think somebody told me on the internet that the talon zippers were done at like the end of the 70s 
Okay. So it's like pre-80s, but don't quote me. These are a pair of Brandy Melville, which I like never sell on my own. Honestly, nowadays, sometimes I give these to Debbie because she's had some luck with she it. She sells them on Facebook Marketplace pretty well. These I thought were cute though. They say San Diego, California on the side. And of course, they're like comfort, <sighs> relax, They're that wear. green too. Yeah, and they're really pretty like evergreen color. So I'm going to give those a shot. And if not, like Plato's Closet or something. Or my sister. Yes. She will and has always been a Brandy stan. Yes. Then... This is a these pair of leggings, these like pink leopard kind of crop leggings. And these are actually by Aloe. And that's the older mm. Aloe logo with that like double line over the O. I was just saying this to Ryan. I suddenly like <laughs> do actually find Aloe quite frequently. And now I feel like Aloe's not as big of a leg bolo. It's kind of like Outdoor Voices where like it was so I think it just got really saturated popular and popping off mm -hmm. and celebrities warm. And then it's like done just kidding yeah i think it was just because that hat that one little hat that just said like doing things outdoor voices oh that's where they got aloe popular. does still have <laughs> so, so aloe has like some sherpa jackets that are oh, really popular yeah. mm -hmm. and All they the have a new girls. hat that in sherpa i think says like aloe on I it i have one yes i found one of the best oh, so taylor very... swift wears so much aloe. yeah yeah those she are really popular. popular then a read the athleta item I and this was it. thrown by ryan it's athleta balance pant which means that they're newer since they have the name there it is the most iconic thing athleta has ever done it makes it so easy these are extra small and they're petite length so they'd basically just be like slightly cropped even though like these seem quite long yeah and for i don't know about petite for something wide leg yeah they're also the stretchiest fabric <laughs> art for something wide leg i feel like oftentimes those are cropped anyways so that was definitely not a big deal to me i just have to like lint roll these and they'll be good to go and then my best pants by far one of the oh, top these are pants yeah I thought this was one a of the top bolo brands that's been on my like I really want to find that list has been Paloma Wool, which we talked about in the fall sweater bolo, which mm -hmm. is now like our oldest fall bolo, like two and a half months ago, Ugh. which is crazy. So yes, I found Paloma okay, Wool. What are these feeling? There is the logo. It's like that jacquard kind of like comfortable. Oh, these are super cute though. Airy knit. <sighs> these are a size small, so it's nice that it's like easy to understand sizing as well. And they are just very Viscose. But these are like jacquard sweater. Look at how like fun knits. these pants are. These are amazing. They're like kind of, I guess they're like straight leg, but they could kind of look flared because they're so like loose and they'd fall on like oh. your chunky shoe you're going to wear under them. So cute. But yeah, I love this print. I looked these up and this is apparently a really rare piece, even though I'm pretty sure everything Paloma wool. Like I think it's their, a rare piece? their whole yeah. thing was like, it's not crazy expensive retail. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's expensive, but not like luxury, but like they don't make a ton. So when it sells no. out, Got She's gone. Get, yeah, so it goes up in value. So my first thing is, in the thumbnail, it's also the first thing closest to me. I found this beautiful. I pulled these straight out of a donate bag, mind you. So thankfully, what our bins have started to do is just, like, not give a crap about the bags. People donate stuff, and they'll just dump them all in the bin. Yeah. And then they'll wheel them out. And this was in This was in one of those bags. Um, But if you watched The Thrift With Us, you very quickly saw that some of those bags are awful. Most. Some of them are quite amazing. Um, This is a pair of farm for anthropology pants these are size small and it's this beautiful pair of like tropical paper bag waist pants this was literally the first thing i found oh and they're flowers look at these made they're up of so little flowers nice. right there right there right there right there right there, right there, right there. <laughs> they have like one itty bitty teeny spot and it's super hard to see but it's like right here it's like she spilled a little bit of like windex or something on her because it's like a faint bleach but you really can't tell um these are amazing they're super rare so i was like oh. i love the like seeing a spot or stain and then assigning what the person did to like create yeah. that i'm like oh she her, her pizza went down she spilled <laughs> oh, what was she eating okay next is this really amazing pair of free people shorts this is we the free size 28 i'm actually obsessed with these they're Those amazing are so cute they have this like and this fabric is super soft it's like a serape kind of like a mexican blanket situation and they're distressed and they're currently like just sold out on the website so excited this i usually like don't pick up this brand for myself to sell but i thought this jacket was kind of nice it's a top man jacket and these are sold on asos all the time so i feel like there's gonna be some very like trendy men's like model photo for this but it's just this cute kind of like baggy oversized this whole thing is very trendy yeah this like salmon looking i don't know what kind of jacket this is but like it's nice yeah oh okay and then thankfully somebody handed this to me because the theme of this bin strip was like good anthropology this is made by anthropology and it's newer because this is by anthro under it it's an extra large and it's this really cute just little like white faux wrap 
little mini skirt. This is another Anthropology piece. I think I've showed this before in a haul, but I watched it and it's in here again. Made by Anthropology, really cute little like fruit t-shirt. Just plain in the back, super nice. Next up for me is a Madewell piece. And this is a Madewell size small. And it's just like this sage kind of green, just classic crew neck sweater. That's There's a pocket cute. to the front that for some reason on the screen almost looks like it has like a white spot here, but it absolutely does not. That makes that's no trippy. sense that's to me. In person, weird. I don't see anything, but maybe that's I'll just really like rewatch this just to make sure there's not a spot. But yeah, that's a size small, and I don't think there's any wool in that. This is an Ann Taylor piece, and this is gorgeous. I love finding like really pretty, really modern Ann Taylor. This is a size eight, and it is not from the outlet or anything. And it is this floral mixed print, like oh, mixed media. Close to a maxi dress. Like midi, yeah. but like shin length midi. Do you know who this gives With me? With these like flutter sleeves. This gives me like Jason Wu vibes. This is, yeah. Doesn't this it? is so pretty, especially mm -hmm. with the like a mixed bottom to it. Oh yeah. I am obsessed with that and I think it's going to do super well. And that color is super cute too. A thing that I forgot to put in the beginning, I did find a polo hat. I think his dog like chewed it just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, no size because it's a hat, but polo hat. <laughs> and it has the bear too. Yeah. Polar bear, yeah. Then this literally might be my only anthro piece. This is Current Air, which is like a newer and more expensive anthro brand. It's size small, and this is perfect for the season. It's just like a super soft button up like flannel oh, that is shirt, super soft. plaid. Great for fall, so I was excited to find that. This is one of, or if not, well, this, this is a this good and find. the Paloma are very, very good. So this dress. I, it just like stood out to me because it's very pretty. It's really pretty. It's like so blue and red and printed. And then it has that nice like jersey cinched kind of waist hmm. to it. And it's like a maxi length, which a lot of those like boutique brands and stuff don't make much for like maxi. Well, they're like midi. Yeah. You know, like they're like maxi, long, but not like maxi, maxi. can be a sign of like a slightly more expensive piece. Mm -hmm. So I noticed there's no like label and I was like, uh, okay. It also feels like silk. So it feels I was, like really I was very silk. like, interested and intrigued then i looked at this and i'm like oh my gosh it's tommy hilfiger like look at that look. <laughs> they got me <laughs> but then i read the side of the button and it says tory birch so this is a gorgeous is there a care tag tory birch no i don't think there's any tags that's irritating this is a gorgeous like maxi tory birch oh, wait. dress there is a tag Absolutely there is a tag in here i just felt it oh yes i guess i could have yep. found it out that way too there we go there is a tag, 100% silk, polyester lining, and then it'll have a style number. Oh, it, does it say okay. anything about her? No. Oh, it does. Okay, it does say Tory Burch. Yeah, so beautiful Tory Burch. Oh. Dress, jealous. and then this is another really amazing find. So this is like a striped, super soft, almost like flannel feeling hoodie. I love these colors. And this is a Pendleton piece. And it's by Surf Pendleton, which I've never heard of that line, but it's an XL. I would assume it's a men's, but this, yeah, this colorway is very like beachy and super nice and it's really soft and it's like new like mm -hmm. this was probably worn like two or three times it's so nice next up for me is more fun anthro pieces this is a newer one because i found the stock photo this morning it's hd in paris which they've had for a while i feel like um but it's this really cute like burgundy i love these like fall colors with this like orange in here really pretty little like puff sleeve wrap blouse i think this is absolutely adorable with the power cot case they're so cute this is an older mave piece but i love these colors mave size small but this blouse i just thought was like super cute yeah, it is. And it has these, like, really crazy kind of, like, kimono swing sleeves. I don't know. I just think she's kind of a fun one. She's not as cute. pretty. This is vintage, and this is the moment. <sighs> this is Brenda Good, size medium. But look at this fun little thing. I love that it, the multicolor. It's very, like, fitting with this today. It is. Like, this is this is a vibe. I wore this shirt for a you reason. Could, you, could, you could wear this open over that shirt. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Oh, I should keep this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, anyway, I am going to put this on Depop and I did take a video of this to put on Depop. S-O-S, please <laughs> someone help me. I don't, I think Jack might have given this to me. It's a yes. little Urban Outfitters out from under a little bralette. Um, these two have been like doing really good for me on Depop all of a sudden, which is kind of interesting. This is a free people piece. It's a little older, but it's a large, which I was really excited about. And it's really cute because it's one of these like oversized kind of like gauzy tops. There's one teeny little spot on the back of the arm that I don't even think you're going to be able to see. Um, but I love this. This like lace detail. Thackery Super beans. cute. Thackery beans. 
<laughs> Next up for me is another vintage wool piece, and oh, this, this is, is nice. much more colorful than the Dark Academia pieces. This has no brand in it, but it's 100% pure new wool, and it's Scottish wool, which vintage Scottish wool is usually worth quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. So I would guess this was like a men's, almost like XL. So it could be like an oversized, even though it is kind of like crop length too. It's so really cute it though. could be like an oversized, like woman's large, maybe or woman's XL, but it's really pretty and there's no moth holes or anything, which is fantastic. It's also like not pilly at all. No, which, is, which is shocker. Now let's get into some vintage leather. This is fun. So this is made in Korea vintage and it's Berman's, which once again was Debbie's original leather jacket because she spent like $250 on. Debbie, one Debbie quarter at a jacket. time. This is a leather, like almost like biker vest. It's a size 38. So I'm going to have to look up what means. that means. But almost like a similar size to the last thing. It'd probably be like an oversized, like large or extra large for a woman. I wonder if 38's like a men's like suit size. That's kind of what I was thinking. I'm getting the vibe. Oh my gosh, they used to have style numbers. That's kind of crazy. But Berman. this is super nice. I just have to like leather condition this side. There's like a few kind of like those spots that just get like dry oh, but it should look perfectly fine after that then we have another vintage leather jacket and this is worthington which a lot of them end up being they end up being like liz claiborne croft whatever what's the one that colebrook or Worthington. Mm -hmm. So this is Worthington. It's a size large, and this is just like the classic zip-up leather jacket. Super nice soft oh. leather. These actually do good everywhere, but they do really, really good on Depop. Yes, they do. But I've sold them mm -hmm. on eBay, and I've sold them on Posh, and I've sold at least two on Depop. You sold them on Mercari, didn't you? I've probably sold like, them on Mercari, too. Pretty recently, I feel like. But I don't, I'm not like too picky with the vintage like leather jackets. It's just kind of the weight at the bins. Like, I don't want them to weigh, obviously too much. They're very heavy. And then sometimes they have like really huge shoulder pads. That's like gonna sometimes be Sometimes they're just like the marsh the like leather Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. It is. Which speaking is just of, like, <laughs> speaking of Speaking the, of that exact so this topic. is a trendy puffy leather look. So this is a vintage piece once again and this is actually by a brand called Nakuchi. It is Verducci and it is leather fashion Woo! is what they must have specialized in. Thanks but Verducci. this is a quilted oh, this is the moment. This is so nice. Almost like gray mud or like clay color is what I would it's call it. It's like an this. earth green. It is. This is in great yeah, this shape. Is there beautiful. is like not much for like those dry spots or anything. Maybe like a little around the zipper but nothing too bad. No, this is stunning. Beautiful like, somebody colors. Somebody such good care of this. Yeah. Oh. And like I said, this is like, this is what like Nanushka and stuff yeah. are making right Especially now. Especially with this that This is legs. like super trendy for the past two years including this year. So I am pumped to find this. And I mean a lot of the like bougie brands, even Nanushka, there's are like vegan leather so if there's this someone like leather so if, leather. yeah if there's someone out there who does prefer to have like an actual leather one now i can supply them with that yeah oh wait and i had one more thing this is not a vintage jacket this is a modern jacket <laughs> and it is aretha athleta as oh, well Lord. this is so nice this one ryan did not throw to me i did not <laughs> size large and it is like a classic track jacket kind of like the adidas look but it's, it's in... giving very like missy elliott <laughs> From like back it has vibes. thumb holes and it is like a very nice like normal athleta like stretchy material so i am very excited about that one super cute okay next up for me this was one of the only things that i pulled out of the other like donate bag that i pulled out of the bin and it's this L Space kimono or like oh, yeah. little swim cover, which if you don't know, L Space is a super expensive, like really trendy little like swim line. They make some suits and like some covers and stuff. But this one I just thought was like super cute. This little like lace pattern. Super nice. Um, this I got based off of Season Alone. It's this Anthropology Angel of the North sweater, if I can like find the tag. This is the newer label. I think the older one everybody recognizes has that like big fleur de lis on it. Um, it's a medium large, which I liked. There we go. And it's this really kind of like lagging look almost, like drapey little like shawl situation. It is kind of Eileen Fisher. -esque. It's very Eileen Fisher, but it's also, um, oh, I thought it was mohair. Never mind. It's just a wool blend. Hmm. Anyway, it's super soft. Then I got a couple of things to put on the good old beat bot. The first thing is this really funky, like, I am going to call this like fairy and cottage and goblin. And, like, and that's witch, all that we're, and, like, yeah. And that's all that we're, and Gretel and... oh, the new big one is, um, like forests. Oh. Like, you just think you're they a forest. They just keep renaming them. I'm just like, well, okay. The same one. Um, this is definitely going as Coconut Girl. This is Maji or Meiji. M-A-A-J-I. Maji. Maji. Um, it's this, like, really crazy early 2000s, like, 
little swim cover. But I suspect that one of them is probably gonna wear this as like a dress. Because I know. For one of them. I know these girlies. Um, I did find a couple of very fun vintage t-shirts. Wonder Woman, but she's been like airbrushed, which is super fun. And that one's a medium large. And then I like this one. Mm -hmm. It's a big old shark. Good from for, like good for Shark Week. Week. Yeah, um, it's that the mountain t-shirt. I love these. I even though I haven't worn one in like forever. True. Size large. Big old shark. Next up for me is kind of like an art to wear type piece. And this brand is so hit or miss, but I think that this piece is really pretty. And the tag is in here somewhere. I just haven't located it yet. Here it is. So this is soft surroundings and this is a size large, but it's kind of a kimono esque like blouse oh this is so with these pretty. really pretty long sleeves but there's patchwork of like many different designs like this looks like a painting these like fall leaves right here mm -hmm. so it's very like art to wear i think so cute i is this like silk i don't know no, it's polyester, which is probably a lot easier to take care of. So yeah. that is fine by me, it's but it so feels very, very silky. Then I have a vintage Free People dress, and this was 15 originally at a Goodwill, because mm -hmm. I found the tag. Stupid. This is a size small, but this type of stuff does so good on Depop, and I guess even Poshmark, because yes, that's where Ryan just sold it last week. That's so. where I saw all of them. <laughs> This will probably do good on Depop, though. Yeah, I can see that. so we will see how that does. This I know Ryan is jealous about. And I did just find out how much these are worth, and I'm very glad I didn't throw it to him. So this is one of those, like, hippie sweatshirts with, like, the embroidered <sighs> flowers and stuff all over it and patchwork. I love these And movies. it's always, like, they're always these, like, burnout kind of, like, printed material. But this is, like, the name in this category. This is the only good brand that I found for these so far. Rising International. Somebody commented, I think, on the thrift with us, because they showed this, that they had one sell for like $200. <laughs> I think like the Rising International ones were the first ones. Which is crazy. I mean, it's really pretty and actually like it's very intricate. No, they're done. really well made too. Like yeah. if you feel them, they look kind of chintzy, but they're actually they feel like a lot nicer than, super sturdy. Yeah. So I guess I'm super excited to find I that. I think I sold one on Depop for like $50. Dang. Like back in the day. And back in the day meaning like a couple months ago. <laughs> back in the day. Back in my day. <laughs> this is a new brand to me. It's called Just, but it's actually called Just Female. And this is apparently like a bolo brand. Their stuff is mm. very expensive. This probably retailed for like 200 bucks. <sighs> Isn't that so tiring? It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've only had one Diet Coke today, and it's almost... As new. you're, like, having, like, an energy okay, attack with that, that top shaky... stirs me up, though. That's a fun one. So it's just, like, this ribbed, kind of stretchy knit top. There's some light discoloration around the neck from, like, the red kind of running slightly, but that's it's incredible. not that noticeable. So I haven't done any, like, comp comparison yet to know what that's worth, but the retail for the brand is expensive. Cute. This is made well, size small. I love these. And this is like that slubbed cotton type material with the mm -hmm. buttons all the way down the front. This is an item that I think by Madewell will still do quite well for yes. me because of the fabric and because of that very trendy like button front. It is kind of like cottagey and stuff like that. I have three more things, so I'm just going to show them and then Ryan's going to take it away. And I got Hopefully a, quickly because and I got we are already at like 35 minutes. This is a Notori piece, which Notori is very expensive. It's sold at like Nordstrom and Saks and stuff. It's also sold at macy's but oh. it is expensive it's actually new with tag honestly if it wasn't new with tag i maybe would have just got this to consign but since it is new with tag i am gonna try it myself and it is like somebody going to turks and caicos yes it you is know? <laughs> like very rich people doing this, this ryan was evil and threw back and then i found I didn't it. know this was as good as it, it was is... so i apologize everybody. well i don't know if it's as good as whatever well, it's but cute, it's though. beautiful so this is another ann taylor piece that i really like it's a size medium but i love this kind of like trippy like almost like I don't know what 60 it reminds me of, like 60s furniture yeah or like mid-century modern furniture mm -hmm. is kind of the vibe I get from this but I love this it's that same kind of like the Paloma wool like visco super soft it's but an entire knit. Yeah, knit I love it yeah like, it is jacquard cute. and last is a dress from me and this is Bowden size US 8 
And this is really cute, I think. I love this yellow. I don't care too much about like the Age of the Bowden labels. It kind of like some yeah, like some of the old dresses cute. can do way better than the new stuff. Yeah. And then some of them just don't get any attention. Bowden is so This is gonna be good for some tricky, mom. But yeah, I think this print is Or cute. like a first grade teacher. <laughs> specifically They wear that kind of stuff. Specifically <laughs> They wear a lot of yellow and then they make a big deal about it because it's like a yellow. And happy. I had a lot of first grade That's teachers like that did that. Done. So I'm speaking from experience. Um this is a really cute Urban Outfitters dress. Um, some Urban Outfitters now, I'm trying to kind of like be a little bit more picky because like some of it's been kind of hanging around a little too long. Um, this is a size small, but I just think this kind of like almost cottage core, like yellow goldenrod, like linen-y looking, like apron pocket dress. It's hard to show because I have it like belted. Um, that's gonna do good. This is a pair with you guys and just... of Levi shorts, and I'm being picky with these because I'm finding a lot of the ones that I have in like smaller sizes aren't doing well. But these are size 33 waist, so I think these will do good. Because who doesn't love a good pair of jean shorts? Vintage Levi's, I fully stand behind. If they're just like regular, no like Big E or Silver Tat, like just normal vintage Levi's, I believe it's fully luck. There's so oh, much out there. it's 100% that luck. That it definitely does sell and there's a ton of people that want it, but it's like there's so much out there that people just go on and I think they just It's just one. like, it's the first one that they see yeah. in their size so, and the color they want. It's kind of... It's very luck. Luck of the draw! Um, Jack handed these to me and these are phenomenal. These are amazing. No, they are not Emilio Pucci. Looks like I it. I know. Um, they are Vintage Cache, who is one of my absolute favorite brands in the whole wide world to sell on Depop. These are going to do amazing. I'm going to tag them Barbie. I'm going to tag them Malibu. I'm going to tag them um, Miami and it's going to be great. Who would ever have guessed that BCBG and Maxaza Rea and Cache <laughs> would be, like, would be like, like favorite brands now. The top tiers. Um, so this I only picked up for two reasons. One, because I think it's really cute with these like colors. This like really fun pink metallic. And two, it's a J. Crew collection piece, mm. which means it was like really crazy expensive like back in the day. And I'm going to do this as like tweet. Mm. It's very like a very tweet moment. This is a Madewell dress. It's kind of cute, but like I had to get a grease stain out of it, which I was kind of nervous about. This fabric always has grease stains. Yeah, it doesn't have a size in it, but I would say like small, extra small, somewhere in there. Um, but I like this kind of color, this like autumny, like brown, kind of like mahogany color. And I like this little tiered Thanksgiving thing at the bottom. Yeah, it's very like Thanksgiving someplace warm, which is nice. Um, this was a find and a half. This is a beautiful cardigan, and I am not going to be able to show you based off of this tag, but for the girls that girl, what is this? Do you know? I know. It's mother. Because it says right here, too. It's a size large. It's this beautiful cardigan. I don't really have any idea what this is made out of. It's like a wool blend of some Probably variety. Wool and acrylic. Baby alpaca and wool. Hmm. So, interesting. This is a very rare mother piece. It's called the, like, Starburst or Starshine sweater. It's a size large, which is also an amazing size. It does have a little bit of pilling, like, on the front, but it's really not that big of a deal, considering, like, it's, like, a $500 sweater new. It's extremely expensive. This is a good old bread and butter piece. I love finding these. This is a soft serve hoodie, size large. I don't know where these come from. I don't know who keeps buying them and donating them, but I will keep picking them up and I will keep selling them because they sell for $25 to $30 for me every single time. This is a, a very cute pair of Tory jeans. These are a size 16 regular. They are the jegging, but I got them because they're this kind of like army-esque, like vintage looking green. And I like, they have these little- Moto. Yeah, like little moto details in the front. I feel like I haven't found a cute Tory piece in a hot minute. These are vintage and these are phenomenal. The brand is Grecian Sportswear. Grecian Sportswear. I have no idea. Vintage size 13. Look at these 80s shorts. Look at her. Stonewash, pleated pockets that are like useless at the top of your butt for some reason. Like these are amazing. Um, so those are going on Depop. I did find a spank and I was very excited because I have not found a spank in a hot minute. It's a medium and it's one of a these. Spank. But there's no, oh, there is. There's the little like hole for bathroom in the bottom, which is nice. Okay, I have a few other little accessories that I've kind of like jammed in here. This is a Pendleton hat cute. that's super cute. I love this embroidery. It has a little Pendleton plaque on the back and the little blue tag. Inside, Jack threw this to me. These do so good for me on Depop. I had one of these that was like blue and it was from Victoria's Secret and I listed it and it sold in 15 minutes on Depop. It's just this really cute little like boussier corset, like lingerie style top. Girls wear these to like everything, which is super nice. Um, This is Urban Outfitters. It's this really cute like tiger print. 
little like crop tank top. Oh, I would sell that. I, I love this. Love I absolutely thing. love this. Yeah. I think this prat this pattern. This pattern is super cute. This color is super cute. It's a size medium. And this is a I, when I did my haul, that H and M dress I found has this, and this is like popular. I don't know the name oh, for this um, like scrunch shirring. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so popular. It's a little shirt so, top. Like, that'll do good. Yes, the, they remind me of um, my sister was one of those kids that they would like. You could buy it on a bolt, and moms would like buy enough to like fit their kids, and then they would just like sew it down the middle hmm. and put like ribbons. I didn't have a sister, so. <sighs> Didn't miss anything. And Debbie wasn't making one for herself. <laughs> this is a really cute pair of Zara shorts. They do not have any tags in them, unfortunately, but there is the Zara back tag. But they're these really cute, like, light wash Bermuda shorts. These are super trendy still. I would say these are, like, a 29 to 30. Like a mom. Like an 810. Like a mom or dad short, they kind of look like. Yeah. Um, probably 29. Yeah, somewhere in there. Like a 9. They're cute, though. I love these. Uh, this Jack threw to me. It is a very adorable cropped brandy a melville john galt little denim jacket um for some reason he doesn't put a tag like in the top of his stuff which is really stupid it's on the little material tag i always see it on the buttons and it says jay galt or yes it does say jay galt on the buttons but photographing a teeny little button with a blue jacket on a white background not a very easy thing to do these are phenomenal these are adorable i was so excited i found these and i found them like the last minute so it's this pair of mod cloth size 4x really cute little like cheetah shorts mm -hmm. cheetah cheeto cheetah. oh my gosh not cheeto cherry cherry whoa cheeto i mean cheetah <laughs> <laughs> please have mercy have forgiveness these cherry little um these like little lounge like shorts these are cheeto super shorts. Cute. they have pockets in them i think they're adorable i'm gonna hack into ryan's poshmark and i'm gonna rename them cheeto shorts. no don't <laughs> so because i won't notice and i'm gonna upload one of those pictures of like those like cheeto brand boxers that like target sells in those like tin little like cheeto come with the cheetos bag <laughs> I apologize. That's disgusting. Um, this is a very amazing vintage pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. I found these last minute. The size is, they're like a, like a vintage, like eight or nine. So they'd be like a modern, like 27. But look at all these like rhinestones and they go all the way down the leg and they're on the back. I don't know if these are intentional or like if Tommy Hilfiger put these here, but like they're really it's very symmetrical. They're so. very well done, so, which makes me think it was Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. But like these are amazing. Amazing. Like, like everything Gwen Stefani. Rhinestone mom oh, <laughs> This is super cute too. This is Vintage Studio Works Petites. But these little tapestry jackets I've seen doing quite well on Depop. And I love these kind of like really fun like mints and oranges in this. I thought it was cute. I have a few more little Depop moments. This is Casual Corners. Uh, but I love these like really cute little like shimmer tank tops. These always do super good. Especially if they're that kind of like ribbed knit. You're welcome. Thank you. And you're also welcome. Yes, Jack threw me this as well. This is Urban Outfitters, size medium. Um, I love this color, and this material always is super good on Depop because I think it photographs really well against, like, a plain white background. Super cute little, like, skater dress in a nice autumnal color. Without Ryan there, I probably would sell that myself as well. Yeah. Um, this I was actually super excited to find. So it's all to Zara Target, but it's this beautiful, like, red velvet blazer. This is adorable. And I was like, oh, Target, like, meh, it's not gonna do that good. These sell for, like, $75 to $80, mm -hmm. which is crazy. It has this really nice little, like, burgundy satin lapel. Super cute size medium this brand i typically would not sell myself but it's new with tags and i feel like somebody could wear this to like a college event or like some kind of formal um it's asos us size two or like an extra small but it's just this really cute blue like one of these little dresses with these little like shoulder finger dingers i don't know i just think it's kind of cute i like the color somebody could wear it to like a winter formal if colleges still have like winter formals but somebody handed this to me which i thought was quite nice it's this really cute little white ribbed tank top Super good for the girlies. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Very deep pop, very Y2 core. Y2 core, Y2K. This is a new one for me. This is Morris. Oh, I've heard of this. M Company and H&M. I think I've had a blouse by this. So I know that like, I'm supposed to pick up all the H&M collabs because they could be worth money, but I don't know which ones are not and which ones are. This one thankfully is. These dresses were going for like 40 to $50 and I didn't see too many in this color either. Um, but it's this really cute, like really intricate floral pattern. And it actually has some like weight to it. Like this is like a typical cheap H&M dress. 
It's like Pretty. an elevated cheap H&M dress, um, but it is really cute. This in my notes, I called it a fairy dress. It's just this really cute little brown, like goblin core dress, perfect for Depop. Then I found this Ann Taylor, really cute little Kelly Green knit top, adorable, adorable. This is very clueless. This is very Cher. It's this cute. black and yellow oversized vintage blazer. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Like, this is so cute. Do you know how good this would be for a school teacher? It looks like a school bus. I know. Or something. <laughs> That's so cute. I don't know if I or want to like look bee. like a school bus. Like a spelling bee? If you were hosting the spelling bee, it's I'm school. sensing like one of those little red apple lapel pins yes. on this that just said, like, Oh my like, gosh, go to your be school a speller. and just have it hang outside your door and be like, 20 bucks. I should. That'd be funny. <laughs> Um, okay, I have a few more things. I, ugh. This was a very productive haul. Um, so this is a new brand to me. The brand is Arula. Apparently, they just opened one of these up at the Mall of America, they which, did. if you are unfamiliar, is, um, like, 20 minutes from our house, which is super nice. It's, to my knowledge, a very trendy, somewhat expensive plus-size boutique, I think. And I found two of these tops. The other one is in the wash. These are the, like, gen button-down something, so I was excited to find a couple it's of those. slubbed cotton again. Yes, it is. It's super soft. This Bowden was with those Farm Rio pants, and it's absolutely Absolutely adorable. It's a US 8, I think. Yes. So it's like a medium, but it's this super cute little like pink and blue floral blouse with this adorable little like ruffle detail that goes down the front. So this is so cute. And in the model picture, she's like at some cute little like English tea party. It's like adorable. I want that. <laughs> um, this is the Sundance. It's a newer tag Sundance and a size XL. It gives me very like Ula Johnson vibes. I have. I was going to say, I you have, have an Ula Johnson that literally looks just like this. made by Ula Johnson and Yeah, black. I know. I was what? like, ooh, there she is. Um, I love this color. I love this size. It's an XL. It's this like really beautiful little tunic. Super cute, super cute. We're almost done. This is a really amazing graphic t-shirt. She's a good old girl. She loves her mama and she loves Jesus too from that song that everybody's parents like screams at the 4th of July like mine did. Ugh. And then the last but not least is this really beautiful, very amazing plus size um, a gown. It's just for women. But look at this color. Look at this. With like a t-shirt underneath it with a pair of docks and a pumpkin patch. <gasps> And I never find these in plus size. I always find them in like triple four extra small. Like and they're you tiny. Could, you could this also keep this for like New Year's <gasps> if it was gonna be. Oh, if you wore like a really cold. cute like sequin top underneath or this and like a fun pair of or boots. Or like a turtleneck under, like a black turtleneck or white turtleneck. That'd be. Really that would be so much too. fun. Um, that's all I got. Oh, that's is... it. Wow. I can't believe we finished we that. We almost quick. hit 50 Wow, minutes. that's, that's it. insane. Damn. Okay, so we're going to cut it off quick here because it's been a long one. <laughs> so I hope thank you, you guys for watching this long. Yes. Really appreciate all of you for staying along this long if you're still here. My brain's melted. We are so excited to do the Debbie and Evan and us bins <gasps> trip. That is coming up for us in like two days. We that would a, be so much fun. We have a packed freaking week ahead of Debbie us. and I have a party this week. And like, we, a we have a week busy week. week. <laughs> we, oh my gosh, guys, like, you don't even know. Anyway. Um, but, super excited for Tuesday for our own, like, party. But then we're so also fun. super excited for Wednesday to go with them, and we're super excited to bring that to you guys and show you guys that. So, we will see you guys on Saturday for What Sold Saturday. Yes, we will. And then Tuesday for the fun, like, trip to the Woo! bins. It's gonna be great. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.